So on this hunt, I want to kick off with a little backstory, just to give you a bit of context. My good old mate, Dion Kuiuhini, and I have been hunting together for a few years now. In fact, back in 2020, Dion and I double teamed a deer at 575 meters. This was his first long range kill with a rifle at the time, which was one of those yucky 7mm rem mags. Well, it wasn't too long after that, he started to see the light and had an opportunity to switch to the man caliber, you know it, 300 Winchester Short Magnum. He swapped the rem mag out for a ticker 300 wisdom and started on a journey to create a Rogi rig. It wasn't too long before you had shooting cloverleaf groups. The only thing left to do was to tip a deer over to christen it. And well, that's where things started to slow down a little. We went out on a few hunts to get it done. We just couldn't make it happen. So in January 2022, we made a plan to get it done. We went out on a hunt. I spotted a deer for him. He really struggled to pick it up in the binos. He turned to me and said, you shoot it. And well, hell, I did. So moving forward, a few more hunts and a few more months, we're heading out again, but this time, I'll greedy guts, yep, that's me, I'm not taking a rifle. So we can actually focus on getting it done. <laughs> what kind of car park is that car park now, Dion? Uh, very vacant. <laughs> Called it empty. Anyway, um, it is. Yeah, we can't believe it either. <laughs> anyway, we'll get tooled up and um, get punching up this tree. Uh, time's three o'clock and um, it's it's about two and a half hours up to the blind uh, but it gives us a bit of time to have a few breaks along the way rifle yeah wood. bolt in no okay, mag so here we go bolt in no mag and with that it was time to get our YY Express on the walking plan was simple 40 minutes on the dock track the rest of the time under canopy navigating by GPS in the dark. <sighs> All right, we're in the jungle. <sighs> Probably about an hour, hour and a bit from here to get to the shooting blind. Hey, right. bit of bush bashing? No, not really. Just, just making sure we stay on track. Yeah. Hold um, GPS off my phone. So. No. Time is five o'clock. Be fair. Two hours. That's pretty fucking good going. Yeah. Pretty good going, bro. Yeah. Be I fair. I think the fact that we didn't get sidetracked too much probably helped with that. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we've got about an hour and a half before daylight, so um, we're going to get on. some get some warm yep. gears on and maybe chuck a brew on. So. Oh yeah. Cow pie. Cow pie. All right. just um yarning on the way here and um think thinking about or yarning about the other benefits of hunting and Dion was talking about uh, 
and he's just sort of filling that cup, you know, the yeah, um, re reset, you know, but this place out here, you know, oh, yeah, we're so lucky to have have this available to us. Yeah, aren't we? Yeah. You sit in, you just take it all in in a silence with a coffee and a picnic bar. And uh, yeah, get your fill, I suppose. Get your fill, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Look after yourselves. I'd like to fill my pickup with venison too, by the way. <laughs> anyway, I'm running the moment. <laughs> no. Get back to glassing. Get back. <laughs> Our first deer for the morning. Bruce is saying it for sure. 431 meters. So this is one of those times where a shooter's process has to be fairly slick. And in this situation, Dion had to find the deer in the binos, range it, calculate a shooting formula, get down into shooting position, acquire the target in scope, and start his shooting process. Unfortunately, this deer wasn't hanging around. Just drifting off now. Deer one, deer on zero. We did have some technical problems. The, the bro's pod lock is actually not locked, not locking. So he's going to have to show us his sniper skills and try and work it so it doesn't twist all over the place. Maybe just hold a bit of pressure with your right hand, eh? Just to hold that, yeah, that um, stock in position, but. Never mind. Still early days yet. Right, another deer. Deers. Yeah. You got them? I'm just, yeah, just trying to get them. I can get them in the binos now. Though. That's good. Well, here we go. Opportunity yeah, two of the morning. The top, eh? These two deer sitting at at 533 meters, looking calm and relaxed, and in no hurry to go anywhere. Stand by for action. Shop, brother. Jibai. All right, let's just kill this, clear this rifle. Uh, he's got a spent case in his hand. Nothing up there, action. all good. Right, your boat. And there you have it, folks. My bro's just smashed his first long range deer with his new rifle, brother. All right, thank you, bro. <laughs> thank you for your patience. <laughs> So the celebration's over, it was time to set the sight and go on my Garmin Tactics Pro 7 watch. The recovery plan was fairly simple, back up the ridge we came in on, up to the track junction, dump some gear and look to recover our deer. Uh, on our junction track so we're going to strip off our gear take recovery gears and then head this way here hopefully the deer's only a couple under that way that's what we're hoping anyway here you go man that's the modulus all taken care of all my shits in here stay there just off the track and uh, pretty much gonna just take Mr. Modulus in got meat bags there got my recovery kit there and still we wait for Captain Kuyu over here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm actually really keen to look at this whole system as far as like leaving the bag on yep. the, you know the meat stuff 
mean as but yeah. if you just want to go and in the sort of system that I've employed from you mm. you need to buy an extra piece of kit well, you didn't have to buy that with the Tatonka bro it just all comes comes with yeah, it no. bro you hear that Tatonka he just likes to be different that's all <laughs> but uh, I mean the, the gear's good don't get me wrong but he's um that's his his basic that there is that there the meat shelf here. yeah yeah but um where that thing eats my pack is, is this in the weight here yeah, all four carbon fiber and this is, is this is a this is a bit heavier it comes you know, at a but, price though, eh, though yeah it does come at a price yeah just just talking to the dion you know obviously the um classic though eh, you know make a system that you have to keep buying add-ons at exorbitant prices but what he was just saying is that i asked him i said well, why can't you just leave leave the meat shelf on there yeah, and he okay. says well basically you can't because it utilizes all the the clips for the, the main bag eh? is that right yes yeah correct yeah Oh, well, but that, that's just the, the pros and cons of owning the system, I, I guess so, at the end of the day. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, you got to find these things out, don't you? I yeah. Mean, it's that's a lot of clipping, bro, you, you got going on there. It's a lot of clipping. Yeah. But, you know, she'll sit in there nice, which is such a good thing. One hour later. Is he? I think, I think so. Uh, I think. could be wrong. Anyway. And after that pecker measuring exercise, it was time for us to punch on and find our deer. I'm not going to lie, we thought this deer was going to be easy to find. We ended up doing quite a few circles around it before we found it. Alrighty, clean out planners. We will front legs, back legs, back stakes. Back stakes. Get some, uh, trim up some trees in here to hang it off so we can bone out. And another first for this trip is that I got to use my Zoe Zipper hunting knife. Holy fuck, this thing is ridiculous. From r &E Blades in Australia. <laughs> Just to get this. Look at, oh, look at that. <laughs> Lightsaber of a knife. That there is hot off the press. That's the Zoe Zipper from r &E Blades. Hot off the press. Now look at this thing. Look at that. Hot knife through butter, bro. Ah, right. Straight up, straight up. This is crazy razor. This is crazy, all right. Right, I'll tell you a little something, folks. I come from a chef background. And we do a little bit of, you should be able to do a little bit of butchery as a chef. But that thing, uh, I've got to say, is, is, uh, that's out the gate. He was barely leaning on that and it was just going straight through it. Well done, Herbie. Well done, you. All right, we'll go string that up and I'll start deboning up uh, over in a tree somewhere. Look at those palm trees, damn! Pretty much us. We're just gonna kick back for 20 minutes, half an hour, and let that meat um, rest up a bit. Um, yeah. Being honest, that took way longer to find that deer than yeah. <laughs> And then, check this out, we walked past it. Well, you walked past it. Literally one meter, two meters away from it, literally. Because we were avoiding some ong -onga. Yeah, we got, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't go that way. If we'd just we gone over the ong -onga, we would have seen the deer. But no, we went way, way over that way. Come back this way and then, yeah. Anyway, let our meat rest, set a little bit, and then we're going to get our hikoi on and Head back to the car. Probably, uh, <laughs> <next> week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting cold. I might have to get into my pack that I've got all squared away here and get a warm jacket out. That's a buckle pack, bro. There's so many buckles on that. 
I, I could see how you get hoha, but that's that's pretty. F- and that's enough giving Dion shit about his pack. It's time to get them on our backs and get back down the track, back to the car. <laughs> wow, that, everything happened pretty quick uh, this time. Um, I don't know, what was your mission? What, yeah, what, was, what do you reckon? Yeah, it was bloody awesome, bro. First off, I want to thank you. Yeah, right. That yeah. was, um, yep. Tony, you know, you're teaching me there with the, it's a different, you know, technique going from bush hunting to short, uh, long range stuff, and there's a few things a new guy just doesn't think about, mm. which you, you know, steer me in the right direction, so. Much appreciated, man. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm pretty bloody happy that I pulled off. Finally blooded that wisdom. Mm, mm. Um, mm. It's over 500 meters as well, which is another kind of target. Yeah. For, yeah. Nah, bloody mean. All right. I thank my wife. <laughs> I'll say hi to Finn. Hey, butter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy. You good? Yeah, but there's nothing really left to do. We've been up since I passed 11 last night <laughs> last to night. get here to, 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 to drive here to get in early and. Get to where we needed to get go. Get where you needed to go, and yeah, so we're pretty tired, and and get some fishing ships on the way back. Ooh. So, um, yeah, bro. Final one. Um, congratulations. Thank and, you, bro. Um, Thank you. you guys. Hope you liked that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.